This is my PowerPoint presentation about Barbara Hepworth. She was an English artist and sculptor, and her work exemplifies modernism and modern sculpture. She was one of the few women artists to achieve international prominence and is a very well-known artist today. She is very famous for abstract sculpture, and she has made it to be what it is today. A little bit about Barbara Hepworth is that she was born in the UK and she is very well known for modern sculpture and abstract sculpture and things related to that. Um, she was world recognized. Everybody knew about her because of how famous she was and all of the amazing things that she did in her life. And she is very well known for a technique of sculpture called direct carving where you carve directly into the stone or whatever medium you're working with and she was one of the very first people to do this and she was also a key figure in shaping modern sculpture and mostly everything today has inspiration from Barbara Hepworth and what she's done in her artist career. This is one of Hepworth's very famous artworks called Mother and Child. It is made of pink and castor stone, and this was a piece that moved her towards abstract um, sculpture. And in this sculpture, she has a few different um, iterations of it, but in these two, they were special because she separated the child from the mother um, and that made it very different from what was done prior to this. In Barbara Hepworth's early career, she was in school with this artist named Henry Moore and if you look up some of his work, it is very similar to the style of what Barbara Hepworth's sculpture style is. Um, they were both direct carvers and were the first to do that. But at one point in their career, um, Henry Moore decided to keep more um, grounded sculpture while Hepworth went towards a more abstract take on sculpture and um, more went to more of the human figure and things around that. So this is another iteration of Mother and Child, but this one is called Child and Mother. And compared to the one shown a few slides ago, it is very abstract and a lot more abstract than what the other two were because the other mother and child sculptures had more of a human figure to them and you could they were a little bit more identifiable as a mother and a child where this one is called mother and child but if you were just to look at it at a first glance that is not in my opinion what i would see as a mother and child but it shows her movement into abstract and um, it's a very abstract approach to the mother and child and is made out of sculptured marble. This is one of Barbara Hepworth's most famous art pieces. It is made of bronze. This is one of her sculptures that she did not direct carve into stone. She created it from um, plaster and then she casted it into iron, or sorry, bronze. And the whole point of this art piece was for it to be a part of landscape and to be a part of the world and, and part of nature. This piece is called Pendor. And this is my personal favorite sculpture by Barbara Hepworth. And I really like it because it is very open and organic and it is very abstract. 
This was done in Barbara's career, and this is one of her more famous sculptures that she's completed in her life. So this is a tribute to Barbara Hepworth from Google, and when this was shown um, as the Google search bar, it is a GIF and it is animated, but I couldn't figure out how to add the GIF to this, so it shows her just carving at the sculpture, and this is her art piece called Pandora, the one I showed in the previous slide, and it's just a very great representation of her, and I really liked that Google attributed Barbara Hepworth by doing this search bar artwork. So this is a little bit about Barbara Hepworth and how influential she was to women and to artists and everybody who looked at her artwork. And these are an, a few of her other sculptures that she's done. Some are direct carving, some are casted in bronze, and um, but she was just very influential and is a very good example of what has shaped abstract sculpture to what it is today.